Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will look into how to create procedural trees using the Easy Tree free add on. The first thing is to go to your extensions menu and enable the Easy Tree add on. Press N and in the side panel, you will see the Easy Tree tab. There are already some presets to start with and some seasons as well. Click the Add Tree button. This will add a tree model in the viewport. The good thing is that we can change almost all of the tree settings to create any type of results. Switch to Material Preview to see the materials that are already pre-applied. The leaves and the bark also have a nice material which uses high resolution textures. You can use the Hide Show All Leaves button to improve viewport performance. To change any settings of the tree, go to the Modifiers tab and here you will see a Geometry node setup. There are many settings available here, so let's look into them. The end branches is used for adding more detail in the tree, but keep in mind this will make your model very dense, so better to use two branches. The trunk height can be used for increasing and decreasing the height of the trunk. The tree top height is used for increasing the height of the tree. The levels increases the amount of branches and spread of the tree. The branch length increases or decreases the length of the branches. And rest of the settings you can check for yourself. They are easy to understand. We can also assign any material or change the seed value to generate different variations of the tree. In the viewport overlay menu, you can turn on the statistics to see the poly count of the tree model because sometimes you may need to optimize them. If the viewport performance is slow, switch to the solid view which will give you much more faster performance compared to the material preview. In the leaf section, there are three different types of leaves. The default one is beech. Next, we have the hornbeam and ivy leaves. You can see they are quite good and using high resolution textures. The season setting can be used for changing the color of the leaves. The minimum height controls how low the leaves will start appearing. The density controls how many leaves will be generated on the tree. Better to use lower values here. You can also change the minimum and maximum scale for adding different variation in the size of the leaves. Another useful setting available is the custom twig and leaf option which allows you to use your own leaf model. To keep things simple, I will add a torus object. Of course, you can add any other model. Just make sure it is a low poly object because the leaves are going to be placed on the tree in high numbers and we want optimized results. Select the tree and in the custom twig and leaf, 
select the torus object. Now the torus object is scattered as leaves over the tree branches. Here you can change the scale values, assign any other material. In the end, we have the wind settings. This will add some wind animation to the tree. To see how it looks, I will split the viewport and in the lower part, I will add the timeline view. If we play the viewport animation, you can see our tree is moving. You can change the speed, angle, strength and shape values. Again, if the performance is looking slow, switch to the solid view. One last thing, let's say you want to edit this tree model or maybe export it. If we try to edit it, the tree will show as a cube because it is built using geometry nodes. If we right click and convert to mesh, the leaves will disappear. To fix this, we can go to the geometry nodes tab. You will see all the nodes that are building up this tree. We are not going to change anything on the left side. Between the tree to mesh node and the group attribute node, add a realize instances node. This will convert the leaf particles into editable geometry. Now if we convert to mesh and go in the edit mode, we can change anything. Keep in mind that the poly count may increase a lot. So it's better to add a decimate modifier to optimize further. And this is the overall use of the easy tree add-on for creating procedural trees. Here are some custom models which I created. Since we are looking in making trees, we have another free add-on that comes in Blender and this one is called Sapling Tree. Enable it in the extensions menu. You can add it through the curve menu and there will be a sapling tree option. The big difference is that this tree is not procedural. So you will have to finalize most of the settings when you create it first time. There is a menu that is going to show and there are lots of options in it. For instance, we can enable leaves, change the position, size and there are many different types of tree presets also. Try to change some settings and see how it works. The tree generated is also optimized. You can assign materials as needed. Just remember you cannot change these settings later on. So this is the limitation of this add-on. However, you can add it manually in the edit mode. And this completes the tutorial. I hope you find this video useful. To see more content in the future, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notification bell for updates. Thank you very much for watching.